Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. It is Wake the Warrior Wednesday. I just got in from my run, so I'd like to say I normally don't look like this, but I'm always kind of working out. So um, just finished my run. What are you guys doing today? Comment below. Like, what are your goals? What are you working on? Did you know that like we have less than 90 days of 2022? And I don't want you to be the person that has already thrown in the towel and given up because it's almost the holidays. It's technically only Halloween, Thanksgiving, and let's just say Christmas Eve and Christmas. Only four days are holidays in the, in the rest of these next three months. When you look at it from that vantage point, that it's just four days, it's really not the holidays. It's four days of your time, yet you might be throwing just everything off to the side and putting it on the back burner. And I am here to, yes, talk about my book and share a really good God moment with you. So stay tuned. And then also I want to invite you to something for tomorrow at this time at lunchtime. So stay tuned. And uh, I, as soon as I say, I try to keep it quick, then it's like 10 minutes later. So uh, I'm not going to say that, but don't throw away the rest of the year, please. This is me trying to remind you to refresh you to like slap you around just a little bit do not put it off do not put it off in january of this year my coach was like quit trying to write the book and just write a book right and then here it is and the other one i showed you the other day is all over my floor you don't even want to see what's going on back here but guys much less around in this space do not put things off because it's the holidays. Do not go into the holidays in a deficit and wait for January. It's one of the biggest mistakes you can make as a former fitness trainer, as a coach, as a speaker, as an author, as a writer, as a human, as a, as a mother. Like, just don't put it off. I spoke with somebody yesterday, one of my private clients, and she got to go enjoy the beach this weekend. Now, she's had, you know, just a hard year. And she got to go enjoy the beach over the weekend and have a little staycation. And she felt a little guilty because of the hurricane and the aftermath and the devastation and the destruction that's going on. And yes, it's going on and it's happening. And if you can, you know, do what you can, whether it's your time or donations or money or food or volunteering, you do what you can to help. But you don't stop your life. If anything, these devastations in our life come to remind us to wake up, to literally wake up. Stop flying under the radar, stop settling, stop suffering, stop waiting, stop delaying. Like life is not promised to you, it is least. I say this again and again and again. Eight years ago, I almost died. I was septic, I was in ICU, I had to learn how to walk again, part of my spine was removed, I have a dead leg, like it's just getting worse. There's no getting better. And it's just managing what's been delivered upon me to handle that day forward. And I've figured it out by making a ton of mistakes and a ton of failures and just a ton of trying and a ton of choices and continuing to pick myself up every single day and to keep going, but to remind myself I'm alive. And if you're still alive, you are here for a reason and you have a purpose. And if I give you nothing else in this life and in this book, The Machete Mentality, it is to fight for that future life now, to not delay, to go enjoy the beach in the middle of destruction in this world. There's still wars going on. It doesn't mean you stop your life. You might still be sick and waiting on a doctor's report. I, that's a story for another day, and maybe I'll share that uh, tomorrow a little bit or on Friday. I'm going to be live with Steve Hopper tomorrow, uh, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, he's one of the reasons I have been super successful, and I love you very much, Steve, if you're listening. Uh, Guys, you can't wait another day. So I encourage you right now on October, I think it's sixth, maybe fifth. I have really have no, fifth, fifth. Don't wait, stop waiting, go act, do, deliver, do something that serves your future life. And if you don't know what that is, keep, follow me, sign up for my email list at robinthrasher.com because that's what I help people do is figure out how to build that life you don't need to break from, how to fill that gap from who you used to be, who you are now, and who you want to become, and how you start connecting all of those lives together. And that is what you learn in the machete mentality. And I have a super, super cool God story for you, which I'm going to talk about right now. 
Uh, yesterday, most of you that know me, I owned a gym uh, for a long time. I had a brick and mortar gym and uh, boy, did that go through some pivots and some changes from day one of us opening the doors because I didn't start it alone, yet I finished it alone. And um, when COVID happened, you know, they shut gyms down and blah, 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 blah. We went online, we did Zoom, we did it in my garage. Like we made it happen. We never shut down. Like we kept going. They tried to shut us down, but we kept going. We found a way through, which is what the machete mentality is about. But here's the super cool God moment, guys. You can't make this up. Yesterday, the book released. It was my launch, October 4th. Like big day, awesome, super day. Today, a little bit quieter, totally cool. God's working in the background. Two years ago, two years ago, thank you, Facebook Memories, for reminding me. Two years ago, to the date, you cannot make this up. And I had no idea until late last night, about what, 8.30 at night. It was the same day that I closed the gym. October 4th, 2020 was the last workout, was the day that we threw hammers at the mirror, that we cleaned out all of the equipment and all of the floor and we gave it away. It was the very last day of that gym of that dream that I had that I worked so hard for blood sweat tears that I, I went homeless for like gave up everything for two years to the day I launched my book I didn't want to leave that gym I loved it and I didn't leave because of COVID it was it ended up turning into a prison for me it was keeping me contained it was limiting me. It had become my dream and I hit the ceiling. There was no glass for me to break through with that gym. It was God had stopped it, dead ended, and I was still swimming in the shallow end of it. And I couldn't stand up. And I would have held on for dear life for another year or two years or three years until they kicked me out. It was one of the hardest decisions I ever made because my landlord didn't make me go. He wanted me to stay. I had to make the internal decision to surrender my old life, to give up a dream that I had worked so hard for. I fought for that gym. We built such a great community and place and family that is still intact today. October 4th, 2020 was the last workout, cleared out the gym. I'm gonna show some pictures later of it. And October 4th, 2022, exactly two years later, God made this happen. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. When you know you are drowning in something, that you need to step into something more, when you've got a life inside you that is pulling you out, but you keep trying to put a lid on it or put it on the back burner or suffer in it because something horrible happened to you or somebody you love or they left you or rejected you or abandoned you or whatever it is for you. I've been through all of them. When you release it, when you step into it, even when you can't see a day ahead of you, that's when things start unraveling for you and it opens up the path. And that's where you get, you know, the, the whole machete mentality is just through the dark, through the weeds, through, through the tough terrain, through all the hard times. That's what gets you there. You know how hard it is to walk in the shallow end, right? is much easier in the deep, but nobody wants to get to the deep. You quit when the first wave hits you. So that's what this book is about and you can't make it up. You, you can't make up that exactly two years after I, I handed over the keys to one dream that I'd worked so hard for and I loved. And it was, it was such a hard decision to make, but I knew what the right decision was and I held on a lot longer than I should have. So I'm encouraging that person. I'm not saying go quit your job or leave the marriage or go jump off a bridge. I'm not saying any of those things. I'm saying to start listening to the thing inside you. Start listening to it. Start hearing it. Start acknowledging it. Start understanding it. Start seeking more from it. All right, my lawn care people across the street just started. It's one of the most like triggers for me, like lawn care, I hate it. So that just reminds me, I'm gonna wrap it up. But you can't make up those God moments. You, that just, that lets you know they're not coincidences. And I didn't plan it. I had no idea. Yes, I knew I left the gym sometime in October, but that was two years ago. I've long forgotten. I have long forgotten because we've kept our family intact. 
I miss it some days, but not really. It was killing me. And sometimes you outgrow your, your dream. Sometimes you outgrow where you're at. You outgrow your environment. You outgrow your people, your circle. You, you need to step out. Now, you can't run from things because you carry you with wherever you go. So if you want to learn how to like start surrendering that old that you're holding on to, the noose around your neck, the, the waves in the shallow and that keep knocking you down, and you want to start questioning where you're at now and doing better and striving for better, any of those things, this book is for you. And if you want to start fighting for that future self and creating that future life, this book is for you. It is filled chapter by chapter by chapter with the how-tos, the whys, the who, what, when, where, whys, and the hows. Boy, it's getting really loud. So that is that. Uh, I, I just, I thought that was a really cool story that came to uh, just mind last night. It was mind-blowing for me. I thought it was just a really awesome God showing up, knowing that you're walking in the right path, not knowing, and I've told you guys, I really don't know where I'm going from here. I know I got another book and another book in the works, and I got to work on that. I got to turn in a chapter on Sunday on the new book. We haven't even celebrated this book yet, and I'm already turning in a new chapter on another book on Sunday. So that's how quick you, like, got to keep it going. And, yes, I'm enjoying it, so I'm not, don't worry, I'm not, like, stopping to do that because I, I tell my people, make sure you enjoy your wins and celebrate your wins. But you got to keep it going and, and pulling yourself forward and striving for better. And I invite you tomorrow at noon. If you want to come tomorrow at noon, DM me, comment in the emails. I'm doing a time management and a productivity hack lunch and learn at noon in my private group. So I'm not going to give you the link here. You got to actually do some work. Text me, DM me, uh, email robin at robinthrasher.com and I will shoot you the link. It's totally free. No strings attached. All right. And it's going to help you start because you're going to say, I don't have time in my day. I can't. I got too much on my. I'm about to go speak at three o'clock, three thirty today uh, uh, somewhere about productivity and time management hacks and all of those things because I'm a reformed squirrel. So if I can do it, you can do it. I used to have to have a babysitter to make sure that I got things done. I don't need any of those things anymore. You just figure out the rhythm of your life and the rhythm of your schedule and the rhythm of you striving forward and how much you can endure and what you can keep up with without burning out and fitting it all in. I've made it no secret that like I've written these books uh, while I'm running a business, while I am a single mom technically with two kids, uh, while I'm doing one-on-one -on -one clients and group clients and while I still have to work out and... Uh, then I still have to do personal development and learning. You don't really care about all the things I got to do, but they're the same things that you got to do. So when you manage your time correctly and you rearrange some things and you can reduce some of the distractions in your life. So I've got some easy tips and hacks for that tomorrow at noon. It is my lunch and learn. I do them once a month and it's live so you can ask me questions. Uh, and then you'll also get the awesome PDFs that go with you that are kind of like a Kickstarter for you to stay on track and get started. So I don't want you to finish this year in a deficit, please. That is my plea for you. Like this book will just get you through the end of the year and it'll help you start 2023 like on top knowing where you want to go you'll have most of your path cleared for you you'll have awareness of what's going on in my life what's important what's not what can I remove what do I want to add what do I want to get rid of so that you're not taking all of the nonsense into a whole new year with you I don't want that for you I, no settling no suffering no staying stuck quit starting over quit in my book I call it getting back to the end of the line so get the book. It's available on Amazon. You don't even need the link. Just go to Amazon, type in the machete mentality. It comes up. Um, super cool. Yesterday, we actually made it to number 17 on the new release list out of 100 books. So uh, that was super cool. Thank you very much. Um, I'll take the win. And um, just thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for following me. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you're signed up on my email list, robin at robinthrasher.com. And again, go to Amazon, get the book, The Machete Mentality. I'm not quitting on you, and I'm not going to quit with this because it's changed my life. It has changed all of my clients' lives, and I know it's going to change your life. And if you can be with me tomorrow at noon, or even if you can't be, email me, and I will say you want to be a part of it, but you can't attend at noon. I'll make sure you get a recording of the video and the PDF so that you get all the information and you can do it on your time because we have a whole course that's like that where you don't have to be live. You can actually do it on your time and on your terms and you can get it done. And these things take less than 15 minutes a day. That's the super cool thing about it. 15 minutes a day. If that could change your life, why would you not do it? 
15 minutes a day, one chapter a day, two chapters a day, 15 minutes a day, your life is changed. Hello, sign me up. All right, guys, uh, I don't know what time Steve and I are going to be live tomorrow uh, or when we're going to be on, but super excited about that because I love Steve Hopper. Um, and so make sure you're following him as well. And then next week I will be live with my coach, uh, Anthony Truck. So go follow him on Instagram. He's absolutely amazing. And uh, again, make sure that you are signed up for my emails. Go to Amazon. Hit me up for the link tomorrow so that you can join in on this Lunch and Learn, guys. And um, have a great day. It's Wake the Warrior Wednesday. Go fight for your future self. Peace out.